Hello geometry folks. Today we're going to be talking about the surface area and volume of pyramids. So what you're going to need are your notes, a pen or pencil, um, the foldable with all the different 3D geometry shapes for surface area and volume, and maybe a calculator if you don't want to do mental math. So this is our foldable. It's 3D geometry, volume, and surface area. We're going to be talking about pyramids. We're going to be in this flap first for a couple examples. And then we'll be in the surface area of pyramids flap for a couple examples. So we're going to be bouncing between it's not back to back tabs or flaps. So just make sure you are in the correct tab when you are writing down the formulas and the example problem. Okay, so the volume of a pyramid. What is the formula to solve for the volume of a pyramid? So you should be writing down V is equal to one third times big B times H, where the big B represents the area of the base. And in pyramids, you can have all sorts of different bases. You can have a rectangular base, you can have a square base, you can have a pentagonal base, you can have a triangular base. So you could be using multiple area formulas or different area formulas depending on the pyramid. And the height of the entire pyramid would be from the vertex or the top point of that pyramid to the center of the base or that perpendicular height that we're talking about. If you have questions as to why this formula works or why it's one third times that or B times H divided by three, when we come back to class, we'll talk about where this formula came from and how it was derived. Okay, so hold those questions for us when we come back to class after this video. So example four is your first one. So our formula, remember, is one third times base times height. So this is the height that we're talking about, the perpendicular height, or from the vertex to the base that's perpendicular. So that is H. So if you wanna find the area of the base, if you notice on this pyramid, the, air, the base is a rectangle. So pyramids can have all sorts of different shapes as their base. So this is a rectangular pyramid. You could also have like a triangular pyramid or a pentagonal pyramid or, you know, any kind of base. So in our case, we have a base that's a rectangle. So all we have to do is take one third times the area of the base would be five times six, which is 30 times that height of the entire pyramid, which is seven. And so that would give us a final answer of 70 meters cubed. Make sure you label um, your meters correctly. And since we're in volume or 3D, it has a cubed on it for our um, units. Okay, now we're looking at example number five. So remember our formula, one third times the big B or the area of the base times the height. So in this picture, we have a triangular base where nine is the tiny b in our triangle formula, and five is the tiny h in our triangular form triangle formula for the area of a triangle, and then from the vertex all the way down to the center of that triangle is our height of the entire pyramid, which is eight inches. So when we find the area of that base, we're going to take nine times five times one half. So it's going to be 22.5 times the overall height, which is eight, all times one third for a final answer of 60 inches cubed. Okay, surface area. Surface area, like a lot of other shapes that we've learned, um, doesn't necessarily have to have a formula on a pyramid because you have flat sides, you have the base, and then you have the flat triangles leading up to the point. You could break it down into every surface's area and add them all together. But if you want a shortcut, the formula is surface area is equal to the base or the area of the base, big B, times the perimeter, that's big P, times L. So B is the area of the base of the pyramid, P is the perimeter of the base of the period, py pyramid, and that's just adding all the edges on the base. And L is going to represent our slant height, or if, you look, if you're looking at a pyramid and... Um, you're looking at one side of those triangles, the height of that triangle is the slant height. So from the vertex or the top point of the pyramid to the midpoint of an edge on that base or on that side. So the area of the base plus the perimeter times the slant height. That's how we're gonna be finding the surface area. 
So we have a couple examples to go through with that. So in our example, we have a um, square pyramid or a pyramid with a base that is a square. So our formula, remember, is big B plus big P times L. So the area of the base is a square, so it's just going to be 4 times 4. And the perimeter is going to be 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. And they already gave, gave you the slant height on that edge. So if you're just looking at the triangle side, like this guy blown up, we're just finding the height of that triangle on the side, okay? So that's 5. They gave that to us. So we have 16 plus 16 times 5 for a total answer of 96 inches squared. And the second example, example number 11 in your yellow foldable. So we now have a triangular pyramid or a, tri a pyramid with the triangle as a base. And so that base of our, tri of our pyramid is an equilateral triangle. So all the sides are equal to 12 meters. And then the height of that base is 10.38. They gave that to us. And then you can tell that the slant height on the side for those triangles is 6 meters, okay? So we're going to use our formula. So if we take 1 half times 10.38 times 12, we get the area of the base is 62.28. Plus, if we add up 12 plus 12 plus 12 for the perimeter, we get 36 times the slant height 6, gives us a total surface area of 278.28 meters squared. So if you guys have any questions about the volume of a pyramid, the formula, how it's derived, how to figure out the slant height or the height of a pyramid or surface area in general, please write your questions down in your notebook so that when you come to class, you can remember to ask me and we can clarify any kind of misunderstandings when you get to class. Thank you all for taking such good notes and I'll see you soon.